Here's a video about an Apple I microcomputer I purchased from Adam Skulski in the mid-90s along with some other really nice Apple memorabilia. Well, here's uh, the Apple I. Adam Skulski uh, sold me this in the mid-90s. Adam uh, told me that he was the second employee of Apple. I don't know in what capacity. I do know that he did have a close relationship with Wozniak, and we see that in his uh, book called Woes. We'll look at that a little bit later. Well, here's the box that the... Uh, Apple came to me in. I've read uh, that the Apples were supplied, Apple computers are supplied in the white boxes like this. So this is probably an original box that the Apple was in. It does have the name Woes up here on the top. Let's open the box up and uh, you see just the way the computer was shipped to us. In this box which, like I said, I think was an original box. Well, let's take a scan of the uh, Apple One and kind of scan over the board somewhat. Adam received the computer without any chips in it, and it's probably the only Apple One that's never had power applied to it. We're just scanning down. There's the power supply section. Here's the end down here with the cassette interface plugged in. The memory decoder where the CPU goes. Here's the little logo. And if you notice the little NT1 there, the last Apple that sold on eBay for $22,000 had that little NT1 logo, this one right here, and indicated that that for somehow indicated that this was a batch of computers that uh, Wozniak had wired. I have no way of knowing if that's true or not on this. Looking at the date code on uh, some of these capacitors, the big electrolytics, Here's the date code 7508 means that was manufactured in 1975-08. This one up here is 7630. This one's also 7630. Right here is 7630. Here's one of the voltage regulators. See the date code there, 7622. I found a date code on this little socket on the end of uh, 0576. Here's my original entry in the logbook when uh, Adam first called me about the uh, Apple One and told me his story of being a very early employee. When he called me, though, he had left Apple and was working for Intel Corporation, but he had this uh, Apple One board that Steve Wozniak had given him. Here's a letter I received from Adam Skulski after our original telephone call and I'd returned from a trip to the Soviet Union. And he said that if I paid him by check this amount, uh, he would send me the things you see here in the letter, which indeed he did send all of these to me, and I'm going to show you those here in the video. Adam is also, I think he still is, a collector and deals with old radios and repairs them and has a great interest in old radios. Here's the letter I received with the shipment of the computer and the literature. And um, you can stop the computer if you want to read it a little more leisurely. If you're interested in the design of the Apple I and the early beginnings of the Apple company, as sold by Steve Wozniak and also the Apple II, this is a must-read called iWoz. Not the greatest, but I think you can read this. He's talking about the spoof he's building with his Altair um, fake literature. And here he talks about where he's calling um, Adam Skulski to come help him with it. And the two of them write it and uh, print up about 8,000 of them. Here's some of the really neat things that Adam sent me. The first copy, or at least the first edition, of the Silicon Gulch Gazette. It's the March issue, which is describing the April West Coast Computer Conference, which is where 
of Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs announced the Apple II. They were the West East Coast Computer Commerce, but they did not announce the Apple II at that conference. In addition to uh, this first issue, there were quite a few issues. Boy, a lot of things in this package I got from Adam. The first West Coast Computer Conference, the program is about 50 pages. Beautiful condition, no wrinkles, no smudges, all very original. I tell you, in addition to the computer, Adam sent me a lot of wonderful things. This is one of the original uh, advertising sheets on the Apple One. And I've left his note on the uh, brochure itself. It's a, it's a front and back brochure. Another neat thing Adam sent me was uh, the first color brochure on the Apple II. The Apple II hadn't uh, really been announced yet. I think you're going to like what you see inside this. Let me open it up and show you. See, this is before they actually announced the Apple. He says in here that they're expecting a big rush of orders once they do announce it uh, nationally. And you can get your pre-order in. So here's a pre-order form. Here's a nice piece he sent me. It was an ad from the computer playground. And he says in his note here that they had about 10 Apple Ones and they rented out the Apple Ones. This was a real bonus. This is some of the original. This is a Xerox copy. This is not original. But this is some of the original notes as Steve Wozniak was designing the Apple II. Some of his hardware scribblings. I'm just delighted to have this package of materials from the original uh, designs that Steve Wozniak did with the Apple II computer. And look over here at the Apple One. Product information. Slide it over to the product uh, information on Apple II. There we go. The Apple II product information. Well, let's take a little scan of the back side of the computer. There's the back of the breadboarding section. There's a 49 down here. I don't know what that 49 means. Since the computer has never been used, you see the uh, soldering is extremely clean. Hi, this is Gaynell Larson of the LCF Group. Thank you for watching our little video.